And Jesus went through all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and healing every disease and every affliction. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless. And they were like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into the harvest. God bless the reading of his word. Let us bow our heads and to meet up. Very nice, isn't it, to be alone with Jesus? Kind of crazy, isn't it, that how much we so love this person that we are giving everything, our entirety, our lives, our today and our future, our all to this one, to this man, to this one single person. And the crazy, the crazier thing is this. We're loving him, we're giving our everything, even if we have not seen him yet, not once with our own eyes. Ah. We defy something that common maxim where love happens at the first time. Or love happens. Uh, uh, love uh, happens when uh, we see the person at the first time. Kasi hindi po natin nakikita ang ating Diyos, mahal na mahal po natin siya, binibigay po natin ang ating buhay sa Kanya. After all, it, it wasn't us who loved Him first. It was Him who did. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a clap of praise for that. And you know what? Jesus became our example. Every time we flip our Bibles, we open the pages of the Holy Scripture, Jesus' life is an example for us. Amen. The Apostle Paul said, emulate me as I emulate the Lord Jesus. Leaders are like that. Their lives though, they are not perfect. Their lives though are flawed, but they show to, um, to, uh, they show to in as much to become blessings and a good example. The Apostle Paul said, and we only can follow them because they as well did first of all follow the Lord Jesus Christ. So if you say that exactly, Jesus is our best example. Ladies and gentlemen, this morning I want to present to us something about to how the Lord won the lost. To how Jesus left, uh, to how the Lord Jesus reached the people who were in darkness. How he brought them into the kingdom of God. Not as, not as a God, not as a divine being, but as a normal as you are person under the unction and under the power of the Holy Spirit. This just, this just speaking to us, ladies and gentlemen, one more time, to how we direly need the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I'd like you to close your eyes, raise your room, both of your hands and tell, tell God, I need you so much Holy Spirit. Come on, tell Him. Not a day, not a, not a step, not a thing we can do further without the Holy Ghost. And the good news is this, every day the Holy Spirit is with us. Amen? Amen. We give the Lord a clap of praise. I'd like us to look here. I'm about to present to us what uh, the truth behind these passages. We can find in these in this verses that Jesus actually was performing the ministry. And I know, as the Lord is bending on you and shaking on you right now, He's having His doubles, He's having His double smiles. For the one reason, He's very happy to have you today. He's very happy to see you in His house today. Amen? Amen. And secondly, He's happy and He's smiling on you today. Why? Because he's, you are doing His ministry. You're doing His work. You may not be a pastor, you may not be a, like all of the kids here in the front, but in your own degree, you're showing the love and you're showing the example of our Lord Jesus Christ to others. I'm not saying you're perfect, I'm not saying you, you cannot fail, but what I'm saying is, through you, God is seen around the world. Amen? Amen. 
by your neighbors, by your classmates, and by your friends. Like Jesus. He performed the ministry. He was there. I'm going to explain to us, you know, one verse to the other in a while. How, how did it happen? What were those ministrations Jesus did? But Jesus, we can find here, performed the ministry. And then suddenly, after, as He was done, as He was touching the people, He later on hated them. Yan lastima ele kon el magahente. Naluoy siya sa mga katawan. Siya po'y naawa po sa mga tao. Tatanungin kita, meron ka bang ganito? I don't have to ask you again because I know exactly the word of God says by the virtue that Jesus is, just Jesus is in you. You are a disciple of our Father. You are a disciple of Jesus Christ. You have as well mercy. Can, can you recall something maybe within this week? Something, a neighbor? You know, a small boy or a total stranger. You don't know him. He's, he wasn't, I mean, he, he was, or he's not your relative or any friend, whatever. A total stranger, but you just, you just didn't feel that mercy. You just didn't feel the pity and you pulled your pocket. You extended money or you extended food or whatever. Like Jesus Christ. Hello, are you still there? Amen. Amen. Ayun po. Naawa si Jesus Christo nung nakita niya yung mga tao. Because the next line says, Jesus saw them being harassed and they were helpless. Can you speak with me the two next last lines say, harassed and helpless. Harassed and helpless. Let me tell you ladies and gentlemen, any person or anybody who doesn't have God in their lives, I guarantee you 101%, clearer than the sun without a doubt, even without a dispute, we don't have to prove whatsoever. His life must be harassed. His life must be helpless. Away, oh, pastor. Are you talking about this rich neighbor that I have, the house better than our house? Diba minsan, meron tayong mga kapitbahay, yung kanilang mga bahay mas magara pa ako sa atin. Yung mga patir nila ay mas mataas pa sa atin. Para mas kompleto yung buhay nila sa atin. That's why you telling me that these people, because they don't have God, though we are less than them, their lives are harassed, their lives are helpless. You have that big question mark to me. I reply to you with a different answer, yes. Because life without God is total darkness. Amen. Amen. Life without Jesus is totally hopeless. Amen. Harassed may be not physically. Helpless may be not financially. But let me tell you the entirety of the state of their spiritual being. And tell you ladies and gentlemen, we cannot reach God by, by uh, religiosity. Sabi ko ng iba, ako po'y makapunta sa langit sapagkat araw-araw ako po'y naglodobena. Pumupunta talaga ako sa simbahan, nagbibigay talaga ako ng abuloy, mga ano, tulog po sa iba, sa mga mahihirap. At ako po'y hindi masyadong makasalanan. Hindi po pareho sa akin ganun, yung mga kapitbahay ko na ganun, walang mga silbi. Come on. Nobody can reach God by building some quote-unquote bridges through religiosity whatsoever. Our lives can only be repaired. Our lives can only have meaning. Our lives here on earth can only be worth, not worthwhile with this one and one reason only. When we have Jesus in our lives. Amen. That's why, ladies and gentlemen, you may not have everything in this world. You may be the poorest person in this world. You may be the lowest person in this world. But if you have God inside of you, if you have Jesus, you are complete. Amen. Ganun natin kanina po. If we have Jesus, and God, we have everything. If we do not have Jesus, we do not have everything. 
Thank God Almighty because we have been inside our hearts. You are complete, ladies and gentlemen. Palapakan doon natin ang buhay ng Panginoon. Pero alam ba ninyo mga kapatid, nung tayo po ay niligtas ng Panginoon, ang kalooban po niya hindi lang ho hanggang magpakilanman. Na tayo po ay linggo-linggo pumupunta sa church, pinapainit po natin yung plastic mo na black po natin. At saka sabi po tayo, kamay-kamay po sa ating kamay, ito po'y mga gandang bagay. Pero hindi kong sabihin, hindi lang hanggang doon. Sinasabi natin, Panginoon, salamat sa iyong kaligtasan. Salamat sa iyong pag-ibig. Salamat sa iyong unconditional love and mercy to me. After 90 minutes, we go home and we wait for another what? Monday kasi uh, anong araw ba yung di-group po ninyo? Wednesday or Friday, and then Sunday again. Then, on and on. Hindi ganun lang ang ini-expect ng Panginoon sa atin na cycle. The Lord is expecting more for you and for me. Amen. Because we indeed can do not just a lot. We really can do more. Amen. Sabihan niyo yung katabi mo, you touch his shoulder, tell him, tell him, you really can do more. Come on. Palapakan po na natin si God. At gusto ni Lord, na ano yung natanggap natin sa Kanya, yun po ay may share po natin sa iba. Na ano yung kagandahan na nagaranasan po natin ngayon, yung kagandahan sa buhay. Yung life of blessings, ma-share po natin ito kasi yun po din ang nangyari sa atin. Ang grace po na natanggap natin sa Panginoon, it did not happen and fall on us that automatic or something which is really uh, bound, bound as directly God physically to you. No. God somehow used another person. Can you remember who was that brother or sister who shared to you the gospel? and led to you the church and led you the sinner's prayer, He was responsible for how you are today, what you are today. Yeah. Please, in whatever trial or situation, kahit po minsan magkakalabuan kayo yung tao na nagdala sa iyo sa Panginoon kasi yun ang relationship eh. Hindi po lahat ng panahon na maganda yung ano natin, yung pakikitong ko. Di ba, husband and wife, hindi po lahat ng panahon sweet by and by, husband and wife. Mayroon talagang panahon na you go sour, but that will not mean you are not in love. When that happens to that person, God, and you will let you to, to the kingdom of God, you go sour sometimes, but never ever that or never ever allow that to happen, you to stand against Him and you to kill Him spiritually, you to rebel against Him. Never ever forget that. Are you still with me? Yeah. So, these scriptures were written for our learning, for us to emulate and for us to follow. No makita who yun is Jesus Christ, He felt the challenge. The Bible did not write something, not in the four Gospels where it said expressly Jesus felt his tears. But uh, let me tell you, I know the Lord. I know Him as like the way I see myself as an emotional person. That I can easily cry every time I see something emotional or I can feel something emotional. Jesus must have been emotionally moved after what he saw. Kasi ito yung sabi ko niya, yung mga tao daw, sila daw ay nawawala, helpless sila, at saka sila ay, they were helpless and they were harassed, and they were like sheep without the shepherd. They were being scattered by the enemy, they were harassed, and they were helpless. Kaya po, ang sabi ng Panginoon, na the challenge ko siya, tinginan niya ang kanyang mga disciples, Sabi niya, many are the harvest, but few are the laborers. Ang answer pala sa mga tao, mga kapatid, sa need po nila, nagkakailangan po tayo ng mga harvesters. Yung mga farmers pa na maka-harvest po sa, sa field. Now, let me tell you, we do not have to wait even 10 more years. A hundred more years, or even a thousand more years. 
for us to tell that it's already the harvest. Amen. I tell you, it's now the harvest time. Amen. People are so right. When you go to them and tell them the love of God, they easily yield their lives to the Lord Almighty. Are you still with me? Amen. Amen. And I say to Lord, you pray therefore to the Lord of the harvest that He will send you laborers. Alam po ninyo, meron kong tatlong versikulo sa Biblia na ang Panginoon po, literally, nagsasabi siya ano daw ang dapat ipag-pray natin. Nagbigay po ng prayer request ni Lord. Una-una, it was uh, in uh, the book of Psalm when the Lord says, we are to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Ang pangalawa po, ito na yung versikulo. Nasabi ni Jesus Christo, Jesus Christo, Jesus Christo, many are the harvest but few are the laborers. He said, you pray to the Lord of the harvest. You pray to the Father that God will send you laborers to harvest the plentiful harvest. To endeavor the plenty of the harvest. At ang pangat ko po, makikita po natin sa Timothy where the Lord says, we are to pray for our leaders. Are you still there? Amen? Amen. Sabihan mo yung katabi mo, Always pray to the Lord of the Harvest. Say, sabihan mo yung katabi mo. That God will send laborers. Sabihan mo, that God will send laborers. Okay, palatakan natin si God. Now, here is the twist, ladies and gentlemen. This is the purpose of the message this morning. Now, listen. Have you already come to think that after praying the request of Jesus, di ba? Palagi tayo nang pray, Lord, send us, Lord of the harvest, laborers to your field. Now, think of this. That we also ought to tell God in a manner of prayer that our lives will also become available for Him to become, indeed, laborers of the harvest. Yeah. Ang mensahe ng Lord ngayong umagang ito, itong prayer na tinutukoy ng Panginoon, hindi po ito nagsasaad sa ibang mga tao. Nakala natin, gano'n, ano? Taas natin natin kamay, pinagpipray natin, Panginoon! Naway magpapadala kayo ng mga laborers of the harvest. Tingnan ho ninyo. Yung mga kernel of, uh, tawag nito, yung grains, kernel or grains of, uh, the harvest are falling out of the to the soil and they become useless. Panginoon, magpapadala kayo ng mga harvesters. Kala natin, no, ibang tao ay papadala ng Panginoon. Yun pala, si Lord po ay naghihintay sa iyo at sa akin na ito yung ipag-pray natin. Panginoon, ako din, ipapadala mo din ako. Naway, ako din, gamitin mo din ako bilang, bilang isang harvester po. Dito yung kamay ko. Dito yung boses ko. Dito yung buong buhay ko, Panginoon, hindi ako perfect. Panginoon, hindi masyadong maraming nalalaman ko sa Bible. Pero gusto ko lang, Panginoon, gaya ng sinasabi mo, na feel ko kasi yung awa ko sa mga tao, na awa din ako. Naway gamitin mo din ako na maging buhay ko, maging isang harvest and baby. Amen. Have you come to think of that as well? Amen. Have you come to think of that as well? Amen. In fact, this very morning, I want to make a challenge. After the message is done, we're going to make this serious prayer to the Lord. In response to this challenge, we're going to make a different prayer. We're going to pray to God, Lord, find me. Here I am. I have been hiding. Come on. How long have you been hiding from your case? How, how long have you been running away? God's been looking for you. Already. For long. Would you stop now? Later we're gonna pray and ask God, tell God, Lord, my life. Use me. I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, we're not just talking here of making acts really literally overflowing numbers, which I know and I believe we are in the process of that. We are on the process of that. Everybody says amen. 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 With talking here of something beyond, which is the value, the real value of every human soul. Think about it. When a person, anybody dies without Christ, he will spend his life 
not just 30 years, not just even 300 years or a thousand years, he's gonna be eternally, eternity. He's gonna spend his life in hell. Meron akong isi-share po sa inyo. Ako'y masaya-masaya talaga pinakuyanoli at saka pibigyan na po. I asked them if I can share this message. Uh, I share this letter. Little testimony of ours uh, in our message this morning. Isang buwan po, ganun siguro ang ano, um, span. Meron pong kapitbahay sila ang kuyanoli at saka pibigyan na nagkaroon po ng sakit ng cancer. Pag may gano'n tayo mga kapitbahay, hindi na po kailangan i-explain nga sa pag ng Panginoon sa ka, bababa yung anghel, sasabihan ka na anak, puntahan mo na yun. Share mo ng love ng Panginoon. Pag may gano'n na ganit tayo mga kapitbahay, si Lord ay nagsasabi niyan sa atin, puntahan mo na na. Lapitan mo na yan. Kailangan yan, magpiprepare na yung buhay niyan kasi on the way na yan. Kung sa aeroplano pa, nasa pre-departure na ho yan. Hello? Amen. Kung babaeng to, third stage, meron po siyang braced, braced CA. Nagkaroon na siya ng mastectomy. So sabi po ni Ate Vicky, Pastor, pwede sanang mabisita na sa kapapagprayhan po natin. Then we set the schedule. Mga tatlong simana o rapat na simana siguro, patuloy kami nag-minister, tsaka dahan-dahan kong binubuksan yung pamilya ang kanilang bahay. In fact, last October 25, itong pamilya ito, was supposed to join our celebration, di ba? Last, every last Sunday of the month, something is special in Acts. Yung asawang lalaki, kami po'y naman ha, mas-surprise sapagkat ang babae lang po palagi talaga nang nag-a-attend kasi siya yung may cancer eh. Pag ang tao kasi wala pang kakailangan niya, talagang hindi yan makikinig sa Panginoon. I guarantee you, when anybody, any, or any person, You know, we'll be cornered something by financial needs, by problems, by worries much. With terminal ailments, I tell you, he can forget all the money he has, he can forget all the plaques he has, he can forget all of the successes he has, all he would think of that very moment is gone. Yeah. And you have the answer. Yeah. Because you're God. Pero itong lalaki kasi, Lord, pag nagbibisita kami, nagluluto lang, hindi pala namin alam, every time nagsishare kami sa word, tumatagos pala yun sa kanya. Batad ng lalaki din. Kaya nga po, hindi po ninyo dapat, tayo po, hindi tayo dapat mag understand po sa salita po ng Diyos. Pag gumagamit kasi ang Panginoon, palagi ka lang isang gumagamit ng simpleng tao. Kaya mo, kaya natin. Kaya natin lahat. Sabihin mo yung katabi mo, dapat tayong masaya na simpleng tao tayo. Kala natin, dahil simple ang buhay po natin, ganun din ang salita ng Panginoon. Salita lang po ng Panginoon. Ang salita po ng Diyos ay extraordinary. It is powerful. Sabi po ng Diyos that it prays, divides asunder the spirit and the soul. Nakikinig pala yung lalaki, asawang lalaki na narinig pala niya ang aming sinishare. Now, it was on the last Bible study we had. Siya po yung umupo. At nalit po namin sa simple prayer. At saka, sabi ko niya, pupunta kami pastor following Sunday. Eh, nangyari po, siya po yung nagkasakit na rush po sa doctor sa hospital. At simula na, simula po ng araw na yun, nag-re-regress ang kanyang katawan at saka kanyang health. Suddenly, meron para siyang dinadamdam sa kanyang katawan. Would you believe it? In less than two weeks, the man passed away. Hindi ko yung asawang babae na may third, third stage na braced CA. Ano yung CA, Pastor? Cancer. Kailangan ma-memorize natin yan. Kaya, sabi po, meron pong mga CA busters na yun. Eh. Sabihin mo yung katabi ko, ikaw yun. Dalawa lang yun. Pag ipag-pray natin yung may cancer, gagaling sila sa pamagitan ng, ng kapangyarihan ng Panginoon. Praise the Lord. Pero kung hindi sila gagaling, pupudayin sila ng langit. Okay lang po. Amen. Amen. So, kami po'y namangha din eh. Hindi namin inaakala, saka kahit na yung family, sabi po ni Kuya Nolit sa kanyang TVP, na ang daddy nila ang siyang mawala. 
ini-expect pinag-pray ng ilang kanilang mami ang unang nanay pala unang mawala. Third stage eh. Pero yung lalaki, tumulo talaga ng luha ko at sinabihan ko si Ate Vicky, Ate Vicky, hinan ko si Ate Vicky, kinis ko si Ate Vicky, salamat sa pagkat you obey the promise of the Lord. Sabi ni Ate Vicky, Pastor, sa dami ko kasi yung mga problema, sa dami namin uh, ina atupak araw-araw minsan minsan pastor hindi, hindi ko talaga mamamalayan ano yung mga work ng Panginoon or what pero pastor yung panahon na yun talaga nabifeel ko sa loob ko na talagang the Lord was pressing on me telling me na to go and visit this this neighbor kapit bahay ko nila at ang gabi ko sa simbaan pero siguradong sigurado ako sa pagkat natanggap niya, natanggap niya si Yesu Cristo, siya po'y nakakakir po sa langit niya. He's now in heaven. Kita na ho sila si Brother Nono. Kung na siguro na sa tingkod, ay brad, yung pastor na nagpipray sa iyo, pastor natin niyo. Praise God! Diba G? Amen. Palapangan na natin si Lord. Now, let me tell you, pag may mga kapitbahay tayo, may mga kakilala, mga kapamilya tayo na nasa problema, kaklasi mo, pinapadala ka ng Panginoon. Wala, without a doubt, without a question, pinapadala ka ng Lord sa kanila. Ikaw mismo, pinapadala ka ni Lord. Huwag kang makatubili. You can do two things. You can tell right away the love of God to them. Or maybe you can text or you can call another brother, another sister, or pastor Bird. Especially on terminal times. Yung parang malapit naman talaga ko, Pastor, pwede sana, baka ano, I know you're busy. Dahil nung last Thursday, ano po, umagawa ko ng ano, ng requirements ko. Ay, na. Alam ko ninyo, hindi po basta-basta yung mga ano, yung mga pinagagawa namin sa school po namin. Talagang, I go through yung yung naintindihan ko yung ano, mga estudyante na dumadaan ko sa butas ng karayo. Pero pag determinado kayo kapatid, determinado tayo kapatid, kapatid wala pong imposible na hindi po natin magagawa kasi kasama natin si Lord. Amen? Amen? Amen. Walang pangalala natin si God. Awas ko sa Tishay. Kagad, Balisa ko ng bahay. Pag ganun kasing klaseng mga sitwasyon, dapat parang sprinter ko tayo. Zoom! Parang si Flash, Flash Man. Yun pala, yung kapatid na aadmin pala dito sa Zahig CMC. Siya, yan kayo ng doctor sa hospital. <laughs> so inalap ko si doctor sa hospital sa baba ang pagsaytas. Sabi ko ng mga nurses doon, kasi alam nila yun, pag may minister gani na magbibisita, somebody is on a free departure. Tutulungan talaga si Pila yan. Ang tawag yan, parang cold blue, cold, cold, cold blue, cold blue something. Uh, hospital personnel are obliged to help the minister in as much to show where the patient is. Pero sabi talaga ng mga personal, they were nice to me. Pastor, wala talaga, ano yung pangalan, ano yung apigyedo? Tinawagan ko siya, hindi siya, doon pala sa sahay. Bumirenso ko doon sa sahay. Pinagpipray ko yung, ano na eh, yung pasyente, pag nasa pre-departure, pag ang tao kasi nasa coma, ano yan, mag-i-snore mag yan eh. Parang natutulog, pero hindi, un unconscious yan, pero conscious. Do you got me? Visibly unconscious yan. Kahit suntukin mo yan, sabi po nila, ano na ang believers nang gagawa nun? Huwag tayo ha? Mumurahin mo yung ano, yung nagkukoma, hindi yan magre-respond sa'yo. Pero unconscious nga eh. Pero sa loob nila yan, they are at their most consciousness. Kasi pre-departure na yan. Kailangan makakapit talaga yan sila sa Panginoon. Thank God. Pag-pray po namin ang kuya. Ang brother, Following day umaga, nag-depart ko ang brother eh. He's now in heaven. Ang kanyang lamay nasa ngayon sa Tuninyo, we're gonna make a service even tonight. And I'm very happy and thankful that on the time of the need of the person, we were there. Are you still with me, amen? 
That's the story of activity just recently. One day, we're gonna celebrate and share as well your own story. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, si Lord naghihintay talaga sa iyo. Naghihintay talaga si Lord na magamit kayong buhay mo. Think about it. Think about it. Si Natalie, isa pong maliit na sister, ano po, kahit ang kanyang boses, pero mahal-mahal, na mahal po natin ang babae. Batak na ano yan? How will I say it? Chicago, no? With the English. And lay lady, we have some leader a while ago. She's small. She, she was able to bring how many classmates she has to the Lord. Other girls she brings to the church, to the kingdom of God. Who as well now? Who as well are not workers? By the way, let me ask you. What do you think are their differences? What are their distinctions? Halos pareho lang yung laborers and also workers. Ito, ililip ko sa inyo ha. Kasi sabi ni Lord, you pray for the laborers. Hindi sabi niya, you pray for workers. What's their distinctions? Yung laborers daw, they are always willing to perform menial jobs. Yung mga mabababang trabaho, menial jobs. Pero yung mga laborers daw, hindi. Yung mga yung workers, hindi. Yung, yung mga laborers, they are willing to work even without pay. Sino yung mga laborers dito para sa Panginoon will say amen? Amen. Lima yun. Gusto ko marinig sana tayo na natin. Sino yung mga willing laborers po dito para sa Panginoon? Say praise God. Praise God! That's it. No, no. Pero yung mga workers, hindi ho yan pwedeng magtatrabaho pag walang honorario. Pwede kang pupunta at saka mag-pray sa, no? sa may sakit. Kailangan may sobri yan. Pwede kang magkakandang ng Bible study, brad. Alam mo, Marami na kasing nalalaman ko eh. Alam mo, marami ng training sa Romero. Alam mo, ang tawag nun, ano? Uh, one to per week. Ano yung sabihin nun? Sa level ko eh, alam mo. Magaling na kasi ako eh. Hindi ako nagsisir Tagalog. Lock in this. So, 1,000 yan. <laughs> so, ganun ang worker. Ang laborer daw, works to give glory to the King. Ang laborer, talaga nagkukol yan ang center states. Palagi yan, kailangan ako makikita. So, hinahanap po ng Panginoon, laborers. Kaya nga po, in Matthew chapter 20 particularly, yung ano, parable na sinasabi ni Jesus Christ, ang binibigay po niya sa mga laborers ang wages. Sabi po ng professor namin sa labor, ang kaibahan pala sa wages at saka salary, salary, pag ano, nasa opisina ka, di ba? Yung 15.30, pag nasa city hall ka, tawag ng salary. Pag nasa, ano gani, nasa pantalan ikaw, nagkakar ka ng ano, ng 80 kilo, ano, <laughs> copra, ang sweldo mo, ang tawag yun, wages. So sa mga nag-work para sa Panginoon, nare-receive po nila wages. Hindi po salary. Pero doon, doon ka lang nakikita ang wages na yung kanilang wages, they, kasi wages there, they're from the Lord. Hindi ko pa nakikita yung bahay ko pero one day hindi kayo ng Panginoon. Amen? Amen. At may naman eh, huwag pang sasakyan kayo, daan pang sasakyan. Pero one day, mapamaneho ako ng ano, yung baka gandang sasakyan. Ibigay ang Panginoon. Amen? Amen. Yun ang wages. Kasi ang wages ni Lord mas palaki pa sa salary dito sa mundo. Amen. 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 And don't you ever worry. Don't you ever worry. Pwede ko siguro i-share sa inyo. You know? Something which happened just recently for the glory of God. But you can help to pray. Minsan, Nung ako'y bago pang nagsusulat sa Sambong na today, videos kasi yan eh. Sinabi ni Sister Delia, you're writing for it without, without a uh, pay? So, I, I, replied, I replied back, yes, I am for the glory of God. Now, for over a year, 
after I started to write in Sambuca today, I was surprised. It was it was last Wednesday when I submitted my articles in Sambuca Times and in Sambuca Today. I was called by our associate editor in chief. He's a friend, and uh, he smiled at me, telling me because he's standing on a five five eleven, telling me, Pastor, are you aware? of the news, sabi ko, what is that? You are nominated as one of the seven all over in Mindanao as the most outstanding columnist of the year. Hello? <laughs> sabi nung ano, if you can make it, ito kayong pagpipilian, you gonna receive 20,000. Sana magpili ako, pagpipray ninyo ha? <laughs> Kasi ang, uh, ang awarding will be on uh, November 17 sa Davao daw. Ang sponsoring company po ay Globe Telecom. Ang mga Ayala eh. Ang bagay kasi ng BPI, Ayala, ano, BPI, Globe Telecom, at saka yung Ayala uh, Mall, at saka yung Glorieta. Mga Ayala. So, sila pong sponsor. Isa lang, ano, you wait for me to text you na I am texting na I will go and fly for to Davao kasi it's only for sure na I made it. Pero kung wala, kasi okay lang yun sa akin sapagkat to be nominated, it's something already. Something already. Ganun yun eh. Huwag tayong mabahala pag magsiserve tayo sa Panginoon kasi si Lord ang siyang magbahala sa iyo. Amen? Amen! Parang pagano natin si God. Naano ba ang pamida? Sabi mo dito, What are the work of the ministry all about? Well, they are threefold. Kasi tayo lahat, when we are in the harvest, ito yung i-involve mo natin. You picture out yourself, you're doing it. You, yourself, you're doing it. Without even a brother, without even a sister, you doing it under the anointing of God. Number one, Sabi ko dito, yung si Jesus, ginawa niya ang ministry, He taught to different synagogues and proclaimed the gospel of the kingdom. Ito yung gagawin mo natin. Sa atin, hindi synagogues. Sa atin, siguro, sa loob ng iskwilahan. Sa mga kapitbahay natin, sa, sa lilim po ng mangga. Saan ho ba? Sa mga klasik mga kaibigan mo. I-share mo talaga ang pag-ibig ng Diyos sa kanila. Amen. Do not allow 2016 or 2015 to be over without you sharing the love of God even at least to one single neighbor or single friend, single classmate. Do not, do not allow that. Amen. Amen. Apit na matapos ang doing, no? Do not allow the year to pass without you sharing the love of God and much without you bringing a soul to the kingdom of God. Simple lang mo yun. Ito yung pangalawa. Jesus healed every disease. Yun din ang gagawin natin. Pag may sakit, ang trabaho natin, ililihat so natin ang sakit. Ang may sakit pala, ipag-pray ho natin ang may sakit. I-review ho natin ang sakit. Pastor, pag gagalit, ibig sabihin nun, hindi ka buluan nun ang Panginoon. Lagay ko doon natin yung kamay natin sa heart. Sabi ko natin, I'm a vessel of God. Eh, Pastor, pag hindi mo gumaling, hindi mo na yung problema, kapatid, kasi hindi nga ikaw nagpapagaling. Ibig sabihin nun, God must have better plans. God works in we ways we do not see. Amen? amen? The ways of God are higher in our ways. Hello? Amen? Yun yung pang last. The, the third thing, kasi threefold, no, is we are to heal every affliction. Affliction is spiritual bondage. Pamangkin din ni Auntie Vicky, you know, I will end here. Masaya-masaya ako ni Anthony. Naalala niya yung ano, mistisong nag-attend dito, di ba? Yung panit. Ano yun? Ano yun? Yung, ano yung brother James, yung panit as kid? Bala, uh, no? Mistiso kasi. Nagkaroon ng sakit yung bata yun. Nang depression. Nagkakarinig siya ng boses. Mga boses. I don't know, nakakita ba siya ng mga beings? Nag-worry talaga yung mama at papa. Lahat ng mga tiyahin. 
At nandun din si Ate Vicky that time, Ate Vicky, yung maliit din si Ate Vicky, but don't you? Kasi sino pong pumugod sa ulo po ni Bulay at si David? Amen? Amen. May itong stories yun, yung bata niyo, over the phone, pinagpipray ko. Imagine ha, nire-review ko yung, yung spirito na nag-afflict sa bata niyo. Over the phone. Inagin nun yung ano, phone, kinakausap ko, parang hindi po nakikipag-usap hindi, hindi, sa akin kasi wala na sa sarili. Oh, so, oh. Kita niyo yung tao na on, on the way for a nervous breakdown? Nire-review ko over the phone, pinag-pray ko over the phone, pero ang nakakamang ha, kahit hindi ko nakita yung bata over the phone lang, hinagalit ng Diyos. Hindi kasi tama ang gumagawa nun. Ang Lord! Nagpakasyon yung bata. May another pastor na may minister. Pero nagpakasyon po dito, tatlong buwan? Tatlong buwan na bata? Tatlong buwan po nag-aaten dito sa church. Inipig po ng tito at saka tita po, si Kuya Noli at saka si Tita Vicky. Inipig po ng mga pingsan kasi ganun po ang values po ng mga Espiritu Santo at saka Cordova. Kahit ano ka, kahit sino ka, inipig ka namin. Values din yan ang acts. Pag palaging pumunta yung bata, dahan-dahan kung gumaling yung bata, hanggang gumaling na talaga yung bata, namimiss niya ang dad at saka mami. Uwi na ako, Mami. Guma gumaling na po ako. Magaling na ako. Umuwi po ng Metro Manila. Bawal lang po nakapagtrabaho yung bata kasi may personality, magaling, ma mabahit, saka intelligente. Doon ako sa iligan, nag-text yung bata. Hindi po, hindi po matapos-tapos yung papasalamat ko, Pastor. Thank you, thank you, Axe Church. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Kayo talaga ang family ko. Mahal na mahal ko kayo. Yung, alam mo yung tao kong nagtatouch at saka nang gumagaling? I tell you, pag, magbabalik yun sa'yo. It's your job to tell them though, the glory belongs to the Lord. Amen? Amen. And I know there will be more lives like that young man who will be changed and will be healed. Magkakamitin ng Lord, ikaw, 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 ayaw lahat. Amen? Amen. Ready na po tayo mga magpipray sa Lord of the Harvest na Lord, hindi lang ikaw magpapadala ng iba. Dito po ako, ipapadala po rin ako. You ready na to pray? Sige tayo.